Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we are, new day, new lure. And today we're gonna go over just a really simple, really basic, but pretty good looking foil job. So, don't need a lot of tools. We have some ventilation tape, mechanical pencil, any pencil would work. I like this one because it's plastic and it won't rub off on the foil. A pair of scissors. Let's get into it. So first we have the foil. Peel off a section. Hold up against your lure and cut off just a little bit extra. Personally, I find this is a pain to peel off the backing, so if you make uneven cuts or even like a rip or anything else, it's gonna make it a lot easier to get that. Get that tape off. So tape and gloves don't mix. I think this would be a pretty good uh, way of just demonstrating my next point after we get all this done. And basically just lay it in the middle. I'll flip it over. Okay. And apply pressure right down the middle of the lure. So with some thumb pressure, you press it right down the middle. Now, just use our nail, and just very gently push the tape into all the little nooks and crannies. We can see here we're already starting to get some detail. I would highly recommend you start in the middle, and when you come to the back, you work your way up and down. When using your nail, you'll notice that you get small little streaks, basically little lines, little indents. Uh, don't stress about that. Uh, obviously, if you're pressing too hard, it'll be harder to get rid of. But just like the small little indents that your nail makes, when you go over with the pencil in the next step, you'll notice that it buffs it right out. It's, it's, it's pretty magical. So as you're pressing, your goal is to basically get to that middle seam. Once you get to the middle seam, we'll just cut the extra around the sides. Personally, I like to use scissors. This stuff can rip. Ripping is nice when it goes the right way, but it can also go into your lure. So just a pair of scissors. Use the pencil. To get the most out of this pencil technique, uh, if we can call it a technique, is to really make sure that you've got all the creases and everything else out beforehand. And that's by starting in the middle, working your way out to the outside, flatten it, take your time. And if you do that, this pencil technique is going to be a lot better for you. And with the lead in on the mechanical pencil, you get a nice little rounded end. You can use that to get into the nooks and crannies and it really sharpens up the detail. An important note with the pencil tip is that you don't want to completely go over the entire gill. You want to just get it up against where the, the two different gills meet, draw along the edge, kind of trace along the edge, and that's going to be it. Uh, this will leave a deeper, more uh, noticeable indent in the foil uh, and that's gonna be harder to get out because you don't really have enough surface area for that edge of the pencil to get in and buff it out so keep that in mind when it comes to the eye use the tip of the pencil again and just gently press on the inner part of that ring Slowly work it around, and it almost like stretches out the foil a little bit. And you can slowly get down deep. Don't expect to get to the bottom of the eye socket, but as long as you still have that little bit of indent, your eye is going to fit in there quite nicely at the end.
And there you have it. Turned out pretty well, but it's not quite done yet. If you look, it's pretty dirty. Even though it's shiny, pretty dirty. So we'll get the gloves back on, use some degreaser, and just give it a little polish all over. So as we can see here, the overlap isn't perfect. I mean, luckily we're going to be putting paint on there, but to make sure the seams are covered up on all the edges, we're going to just put a little bit of UV resin, paint it on, let it set, and then come back and start putting our paint on. So now the resin's cured, and all the little rough spots around the edges are nice and smooth. Now we're going to hide those with an opaque color of your choice. We'll do white across the belly. So as you can see, I kind of goofed up in the back here, cut the foil a little bit too short and left a bit of a, a hole. You can't feel it because of the resin. So let's use some opaque black and just cover that right up. While we have the black in the brush, let's just get a, our tool stencil. I'm not going to hold it directly against, because I don't want it super defined. We'll just hold it just off the lure a little bit. And you see by kind of holding it above with a spray, it gives a nice little texture. Hope that's coming through. Yeah, there it is. I like that. So we'll use some iridescent teal, iridescent yellow, one drop teal, eight drops yellow, and that's going to give us this pretty great little emerald green color. Put that off to the side. We'll just put some teal in the brush and use that as our, uh, as our mid color over top of the black using the same stencil. A mid color is basically just a color that's it, part of in that transition found somewhere in your final color and it's really just going to kind of help blend everything and I think just give it a little bit more a little more depth as opposed to just putting the green on right away yeah that turned out nice that teal in the black Get some mesh over top. Now with that green mixture in.
Before I forget again, the UV resin gives a nice base layer to spray on top of. When you spray it just on top of the foil, uh, the, the spidering and everything else can get a bit much unless you do just really, really basic light layers. So having that UV resin on there, then spray it on top, is game changer. With some shading gray, we'll add a little more detail to the cheeks. Let's use some sepia. That goes really good with green. That's some transparent yellow. Let's kind of make a bit of a lateral line here. Some shading gray. Put a nice gold eye in there. Well, it's just time for top coat. Figure I'll get a, a shot before I put the, the gloss on it. And here you go. Final product, very happy with how it turned out. Colors blended nicely, you can still see the foil. Yep, I like that. And very cheap. So I encourage all of you, ventilation tape, give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye.